It's time for another episode of GameSpot Breaking News, this time courtesy of Valve. I'm Chris Waters, this is Kevin Van Ord, and Kevin, we're here to talk about the family sharing plan. Yeah, Valve announced that uh, on your Steam account, you are now going to be able to share the entirety of your library with up to 10 devices, meaning PCs, Macs, Linux machines, whatever it is that you use to access your Steam library. Hey, share it with the family. Share and share alike. So I've got my Steam account, and you've got yours, and Yo. I want to share my stuff with yours. I can invite you directly, or you can send me an email request being like, Yo, Chris, can I get your games? And then that's cool. We that's can right. both access my library. However, what if I'm playing my game? What if you're playing my game, and I'm like, I, I want to play it Well, now. too bad for me, because I'm going to be kicked out, or it's Steam is going to ask me, Hey, yo, do you want to buy this for yourself? Okay. And then I'll probably spend some money, and I bet you that that's kind of what Valve wants to get out of this. Well, if it's you spending the money, of course, other people will have just a frantic few minutes to wrap things up before yep. the primary user, the primary owner of those devices, of those games, uh, sort of their primacy kicks in. Now, uh, the limitation is interesting because it's not by account, it's by device. Yeah, there's still some logistics that are a little unclear in, in the list of, in, in the FAQ and how things work, but as far as we can tell, it's 10 devices, but no limitation on the number of people. So let's say you want to share with your actual family on just the one PC. It sounds like almost an unlimited number of Steam accounts could access your library on the same computer. On that same computer. Mm -hmm. So if you have, you know, sharing activated on multiple computers, it stands to reason you could have multiple people um, accessing that those games from all of those computers. And they'll get access to your whole library. It's not a game by game sharing scheme, but there are limitations. Not all games will work with Steam family sharing. Yeah, so things that have their own logins. So when I think of this, I think of, say, MMOs that require yep. you to have a separate login to play. That's obviously not going to work. Things that say, say Ubisoft games that use Uplay. Okay. Um, that's yep. another example where you're going to need a Uplay account in addition to the Steam account. Mm -hmm. Those things things ain't going to work, but it seems like anything that requires just the Steam login, those things are A-OK. -okay. Oh, also regional. There is a regional oh, okay. restriction too, yep. so if the game is not available in your region and the, uh, the library has been shared, it's still not going to be available in your region. Either. But as of now, it seems like Valve's family sharing plan is going to be the first real digital game sharing option to hit the market and it's starting next week it'll be in limited beta so you can go over to steampowered.com and try to find a way to sign up for that i think they're only giving away a thousand keys though so good luck yeah good luck with that one but uh yeah that's that's the breaking news folks valve's family sharing plan giving you a way to share your digital games with family as you define them. For more on this news story, check it out on GameSpot.com. Chime in in the comments below or sound off on Twitter and uh, we'll pick up on all your comments and hopefully get you some answers on any questions you have. For Kevin Van Ord, I'm Chris Waters. Thanks for watching.